Welcome to Montagnana for stage 3 of the Giro Rosa. There are 120 kilometers on the menu today. The first time in this year's edition we can really talk about a flat stage. Finishing only 6 meters above sea level in Lendinara in the province of Padova. Big surprise is Lea Kirchmann. The sprinter is doing really well in the mountains so far and has a good chance of winning today. Yeah, I, I had a, a really good day climbing yesterday and you know I was, I was really happy to finish in the top 10. And uh, again, I had great team support all day and I was able to just give a huge effort on the climb there. Was it a big disappointment to lose to Pink on the day before? Uh, you know, it, I was a little disappointed, um, but at the same time, I'm still, I'm still really positive about the race and I think there's still so many opportunities like today and still to come. So um, yeah, it was, it was really cool to have Pink for the day. Today it's a very important day because there are not very stage for the sprinter, just two or perhaps three. So I would like to do a good race, a good sprint. So it's very important today. How did you feel on the last days? Do you feel you have the legs to go for the, the win today? Uh, I hope, but I don't know because uh, it's a hard race with a lot of uh, good uh, sprinters. So I hope. <laughs> Yeah, I think today it's uh, only really sprint stage and uh, I mean it's pretty windy and we have to see that we cover uh, Tatiana as good as possible that she, yeah, if the bunch will split somewhere that she will not get a, a time because she's our GC rider and that's our main goal here for the whole stage race and um, yeah, whatever will happen in this race, if there is a breakaway that would be nice to have somebody in of our team and um, I'm not sure what what we do if there is a bunch sprint, so it's not exactly one rider where we go for, so we have to see who's feeling good and um, this one has to, uh, um, is allowed to go for itself and um, yeah, I, I would be happy to end up in a breakaway or something. The last time I wore it was in 2012, so it's just nice to know that kind of back at my game when I want to be there, so you know, we have such a strong team and so many more days, but it's cool just to even wear it for one day. Although the peloton is not riding fast in the first hour, nobody really gets away, so we expect to have a bunch sprint today. After 43 kilometers, the peloton reaches the only climb of the day in Arc Petrarca, which is 68 meters high. Not really a big challenge, so the whole peloton is still together. Elisa Longo-Borghini is keen on the mountain jersey and takes the points. The intermediate sprint is won by Megan Garnier. Nothing really happens during the stage except a big crash of about 30 riders that overshadows the day. Lizzie Armitstead also went down and the world champion seems injured. She rides all the time in the back of the peloton and with only one hand really holding her handlebars. She later gets checked and seems to be fine to start stage 5. It is time for the teams to position themselves for the sprint. Barbara Guarici is the sprinter for Kenyan SRAM and her team, led by Tiffany Cromwell, is setting the pace. Lea Kirchmann is also positioning her team to the front of the peloton. It is Kenyan SRAM that has the perfect setup leading into the last corner. A sharp U-turn 350 meters before the finish. Barbara Guarici sits perfectly on the wheel of Cromwell, but then Chloe Hosking of Wiggle High Five starts the sprint, takes the lead and pulls it through all the way to the line, leaving Marta Tagliaferro and Giorgia Bronzini behind her. I actually, I never really thought that I would win a stage of the Giro Rossa in my career, so to actually yeah, get one under my belt, um, yeah, it's, it's overwhelming and yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting emotional now, but I'm so happy my team backed me and you know, all these girls, are, they're in such amazing form leading into the Olympics, so I was sort of here just to find my form for the second part of the season, so for them to give me that opportunity, you know, I'm, I'm very, very grateful and uh, yeah, to come away with the win, it's just really rewarding. I'm so happy for me and for uh, my team. Chloe was the, the strongest today and it was impossible for me to try to jump and uh, pass her. Uh, I start my, my, my sprint for work to, for my teammate Bastianelli, but she was uh, too much uh, back and uh, when she said Marta go, I tried to do my best for me and for my team. 
I think we did a really good job. You know, we were all there together from 4K to go and we did a strong lead out. It's just we haven't had that much chance to practice lead outs this season and, you know, there's just minor things like maybe we just need to do our turns a little bit later because I still came through the last corner first with Barbie on my wheel and it was just a long way to the finish and we just mistimed it. So that was all and it was just faster girls on the line. We were fortunate we had our logistics manager, Alex, um, sort of drive the stage before in front of us so we got the information from her about the finish and I knew about the sort of technical corner coming in and that it was a tailwind so you know I just put myself on Barbara from Canyon's wheel and um, I know they have a really really strong lead out train and I was just hoping that they would keep the pace really high and usually I'm quite nervous going into finishes like that but I just I knew like you don't get it's not every day you get a chance to win a Giro stage so I just had to suck it up <laughs> and um, I was really lucky I came around the corner and I still was on her wheel and I knew that it was a tailwind finish so I just I think I went even before 200 to go and I was just committed and um, Gio said that I just put such a gap into them and they couldn't close it so um, yeah it's it's really satisfying and you know as I said I'm just building for the second half of the season but to see that my training is paying off that's it's really satisfying So Chloe Hosking of Wiggle High Five wins stage 3 of the Giro Rosa, followed by Tagliaferro and Bronzini. In the general classifications it is still Evelyn Stevens that is in the lead, followed by Nivia Doma who lost 1 second today. Stevens teammate Megan Garnier is now 16 seconds behind Stevens. Tomorrow the riders have to digest a serious climb. Stage 5 from Grosio to Tirano is only 77 kilometers long, but it has one of the hardest climbs in it. The famous Passo dello Foppo, better known as the Mortirolo.